brutally honest. And I think if you trust your love, you'll find a way to heal. Thank you for your kindness. I know it's unfair of me to just come here and bear my soul to you. What's ahead? Given that I know that my choice is uh, not going to make everybody's life easy. You've gone quiet again. What does her say? Yes. Your choice is going to have an effect on all of us. Profoundly. But it is your choice to make. Yes. Yes, it is. And I want to be clear. Chad, I do not want to cause you any more grief. So I do not want you to feel responsible for this child. Nor do I expect you to be a part of his or her life. Well, regardless of what you expect or want, that will not be possible. What makes you think I don't want to be married to Xander? Of course. My mother sent you. Chanel, she's worried about you. About this mistake that you made. I'm worried about you. My mom was very clear that I'm a grown woman and I need to be responsible for my own choices. So I've made my choice. And my mother and everyone else needs to respect that. Okay. Chanel, I get it. You're freaked out. Your mother cut you off for the first time, and you're on your own. And I can't imagine how scary that is for you. Chanel, you are so strong. You are smart. And you have a great foundation to go out there and do whatever you want. Create the life you want to live. And you don't need no man or your mother to help you do that. Maybe you're right. I understand your reservations, Theo. I do. And of course, I don't want to hurt you. I certainly don't want to get hurt either. That is why I am done with Ben Weston. A maniac who has convinced everyone that he is charming and changed and better now, when in reality, he just tried to inject me with a syringe filled with drugs.